Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the Movi M5 from Freefly Systems. It is a three-axis gimbal stabilized system designed to work with the uh, smaller cameras like this DSLR here, the uh, 5D Mark III, uh, and other small rigs. So it's a great system. When you stabilize it and balance it out, and turn it on, it will make it let you fly around with uh, uh, a small camera all day long because it's just so darn lightweight and easy to use. Uh, so I wanted to go through it a little bit and talk about the sort of differences to the M10, and what they've done to make the rig even easier to balance overall. Uh, so uh, the uh, first thing I want to look at here is the base plate system, or sort of dovetail system down here, which uh, is now wider than the M10 had before, making it very easy to move the whole system fore and back, uh, fore and aft, right? It's a nice big plate, which is a ni nice addition. Also, they've added another top bar here, which has another sliding plate on it. Uh, they can be attached to a DSLR with a little hot shoe piece on it, or it also has quarter 20s here, as you can see, which allow you to attach it to another flat-topped camera. So uh, this is a great addition, in my opinion. Uh, beyond that, uh, they, having the two pieces together, as you can see, they sort of form a cage around the camera. This cage means it, the system becomes very rigid, which is very important for a stabilized shot. Put that cage together, and you now have these two toggles, the front and back, over here and here. Uh, that allow you to adjust the whole cage up or down for your, for your vertical tilt balance, as you can see. Once you have it set up, it balances nice and neat. Beyond that, they've also changed uh, the pan ang part here. This is a, a pan knuckle and that now is right angled and has two toggles on it for a fore and aft adjustment for the pan axis. So this is nice and easy now. You can slip, sim simply release these two, slide it forward and backward, easy to set up. The whole thing took me under 10 minutes to balance even out of the box. So really nice uh, setup overall. I like the additions. Beyond that, they've also made the battery a little smaller. It, this, this system is designed for lighter weight cameras, so the motors work less. You can use a smaller capacity battery, which fits on a nice little cradle here. Uh, and additionally, I have the remote control here for it, which is the same remote you'd find on the M10, but it is an optional accessory for this rig. Uh, you can certainly just buy it for in, to work in single operator or majestic mode all the time, or you can get with this remote, which is paired to the system for dual operation, just like on the M10. These are all great options for the M5. It is, again, designed to be used with lighter weight, smaller cameras. I have put uh, up to a 5D Mark III, I mean a 5D Mark III and a Blackmagic camera even on there to fit right in. Uh, but I wanted to go a little bit bigger if I could and show you a popular camera option that people have asked about, the uh, Canon uh, C100. The C100 here is uh, equipped with the continuous autofocus mode, uh, which is an update for the C100, and which will work with this lens, or any lens really, including the 17 to 40 here, to uh, continually autofocus off the center of the image. So this is a great option, especially on the M5, uh, so you can walk around with it just a single operator and get in focus shots. Really cool option. Lens here, 70 to 40, plus the camera and the battery, are under five pounds, so well within the weight limit of the M5. Uh, the height is an issue though, it's a taller camera than sort of designed for the M5, but if you move this top bar here all together, uh, you can balance it up and it does spin freely on all sides, so a nice option for sure there. Um, you, moving that top bar does reduce the rigidity or the strength of the system overall, but with tuning you can get this guy flying really nice, and I certainly have done that. Uh, here I also have an HDMI cable coming out of the rig uh, into my Atomos uh, Ninja 2 recorder for ProRes recording. A great option for the C100 for sure in, in, in any situation. So nice setup there. Definitely recommend uh, trying this combination out if you ever need a single operator stabilized shot. Really cool combo. I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy on. You'll see it spin around. It's, it's all balanced and floating in space now, but it's not on. Uh, and then I'm going to take it out around the office here and, and see how it flies. And I'll post that video up right after this. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.